Today we're going to be unboxing the Katsu C3, a revolutionary new product from Katsu Global. Let's take a look. When you first open the package, you'll notice that the C3 comes in its own carrying case, perfect for travel, keeps all the accessories together. Inside, you'll see that we have new tubes, USB-C charging cable, USB-C charging block, as well as a plug for single limb use. We'll get back to this in a second. If we take the C3 out, first thing you'll notice is that it comes with a belt clip that's removable uh, either with a coin or a screwdriver. Unscrew it here, and then if you want to slide it into your pocket, you can do so more easily. Also, you'll notice underneath the belt clip, there's a QR code. If you happen to lose or misplace your quick start guide that's included in the package, uh, you can access it online there. Just scan the QR code, it'll take you right to the website. So, in order to turn on the C3 device, turn to the side and you'll notice a power button here. Press and hold. And the device starts up. You see the logo on the screen. The C3 device is enabled with these touch sensitive buttons on the front. So you only have to tap them, uh, they're touch sensitive, so you don't actually have to push like a physical button. The first screen that comes up is the home screen. Uh, in the upper right hand corner is the battery readout, so you know how much battery is left in the unit. In the upper left hand corner is a little icon showing you what settings you've selected. So this first screen enables you to choose between the two modes. There's the cycle mode and there's the constant mode. To switch between them, you can press these left and right arrows. To select, you press the center red button. Now the cycle mode is what's going to enable you to have pressure on for 20 seconds, pressure off, pressure on, pressure off for a total of eight steps, and those eight steps are considered one set. The constant mode, however, uh, inflates the bands with a precise and uh, set amount of pressure, and it retains that setting throughout your entire session. So we're going to walk through the cycle setting. I'm going to go back to cycle and to confirm, press the center red button. And the next screen it brings us to is position. You have two options, your arms, where the bands go between the shoulder and the bicep, or legs, where it goes on your upper thigh as close to the groin as possible. So we're going to select arms, again, confirm with the center red button. Now we get to the pressure screen where you can select from three preset pressures or uh, create a custom pressure. So the first uh, preset is low, which goes from 80 to 150 SKUs. Medium goes from 130 to 200 SKUs. High goes from 180 to 250 SKUs. And again, the custom setting allows you to set a custom amount that the cycle will inflate to. So if we select custom with the red circle button, you can see that you can scroll up or down to increase or decrease the SKUs available. If we want to go back a screen and change our minds, you simply have to press the red power button on the side and we go back to the previous screen. So we're going to start with the low setting. Next it brings us to the set. So again, within a cycle you have steps, which are the individual inflation and deflation. Each of those is considered a step and eight steps creates a set. Uh, with the Katsu C3, there's a new function that, it, that allows you to select between one and six sets. So unlike previous models where if you wanted to do a repetitive uh, cycle set, you had to keep starting it uh, over again each time. This one you can preset it once, let it roll, and then you're, you're good for the, for the duration of your session. So we're going to stay on one set. Now before I hit the red circle uh, button to confirm that, which would then start the session, you want to make sure to connect your tubes. So looking at the tubes here, take them out of their plastic, there's two ends available. This uh, thinner end is what plugs into the top of the unit, so you see the two holes there. Uh, like I mentioned previously, if you only wanted to use one limb, then you would use this plug and insert that into the other opening so that only one band inflates. But if we're doing both limbs, then we want to slide this into here as well so the tubes are connected. And then to connect it to your bands, you simply take the thicker white part and snap it into place with your band. You should hear an audible click. We'll do the same for this side. 
bottom will click. And then place the bands on per usual. If you need instruction on how to do that, we have other videos available on our YouTube channel. But once the bands are attached to the tubes and connected to your body, and you've uh, selected all your settings, you simply press the red button again, and it begins your session. The readout on the screen will display your live SKU reading, so you know how much pressure is being uh, inflated in the bands currently. You also, in the bottom right corner, shows how many sets you are on. So we are on one of one, because we only selected one set. It also shows you the time remaining in the particular step. So a countdown from 30 seconds during inflation or a countdown from five seconds during deflation. And then you also see these red and gray bars over here, which show you which step you are on within a set. To pause your session, simply press the red circle again. It's gonna deflate the bands, but it's gonna keep your place within the cycle. So you can start up again by hitting the red button. If you wanna cancel your session, stop it for whatever reason, simply press the red power button on the side, session's canceled and we're back to the home screen. To turn off the device, simply press and hold the power button for a few seconds and the device confirms and turns off.